Light channels tools for ascension by Wolfgang and uh, Wolfgang. So uh, my gift to you today is this video about releasing curses between humans and dragons. So dragons are not only a thing for dungeon and dragon geeks or people that binge watch Game of Thrones, but also for the serious metaphysical practitioner. I mean, first of all, I never watched a whole episode of Game of Thrones myself. It's too close to home, I guess. You know, same with the movie Gladiator. I was a gladiator in a past lifetime and a gladiator trainer. And so, when after 10 years I finally watched the movie at home, I mean, I just cried my eyes out. So, um, <laughs> of course, now all what I'm talking about here comes from past life regressions with a wide variety of clients that I had. This is not um, scholarly things that are regurgitating, you know, from other people. So first of all, you know, in many past life regressions, we encounter mystical beings like fairies, unicorns, mermaids, giants, ETs, and also dragons. Mm -hmm. So these are mostly encounters from previous worlds, um, pre-Diluvian worlds in cultures like Atlantis, Lemuria, and others. You know, this is supposed to be the fourth or the fifth world. And also, you know, these worlds are more astral or fifth dimensional in their nature. That means that the laws of Newton's physics do not completely apply to these reality. You know, they're more fluid in many ways. And, of course, here we are dealing more with the laws of quantum physics. Also, you know, you should know um, that I do not care to prove any of this to you. <laughs> you know, just look at the old legends from around the world and, you know, draw your own conclusions. Again, you know, my fund of knowledge comes from three decades of past life regressions, you know, that are backed by, you know, a deep study of, you know, the Vedic Sanskrit scriptures and cultures. So, uh, but lately dragons have been coming up more and more into the life of my clients. And, you know, established communications as helpers or to clear obstacles and karma. Mm -hmm. So my purpose here with this video, besides mm, blowing your mind and expanding your awareness, is just like that. Clear karma, establish communication, get a positive working relationships going. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of information on dragons out on the internet, and I'm not going to chew this over again and again. You know, I mean, we definitely will be talking, you know, about the high strangeness event, or the far out stuff, not weird, far out stuff. Mm -hmm. And also, um, we have to talk a little bit about the Draco, you know, which is short for Alpha Draconians, very who, you know, and which are also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. Mm -hmm. Known to the Hindu um, community, they are called Rakshasas. Mm -hmm. And the great Indian epic, the Ramayana, you know, is being about a big battle that was fought with these Rakshashas, you know, by a green-skinned extraterrestrial called Rama, you know, who had enlisted the help of, like, Yeti, Bigfoot, very smart, you know, ape army. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these guys, again, you know, performed higher dimensional feats, you know, transcending the laws of Newton's physics. You know, I read those things. <laughs> And it's not just myth. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> um, so the main um, category, you know, of bad blood between dragons and humans is especially, you know, from humans that got sacrificed, you know, to the dragons, so that they would not, let's say, burn the village, 
you know so many of the folklore lore you know talks about this and so when we ask the dragons you know, in hypnosis about their perspective they said that the humans came into their territory without asking permissions etc and of course the humans had no idea that they intruded into dragon turf you know and so then with the help of divine beings you know the whole thing can be straightened out so the majority of curses you know came from basically the warfare between humans and dragons so it went back and forth back and forth you know the humans oh, destroyed my eggs you know and then the dragon burned my village you know and then it turned out that most of the time the draco the alter alpha draconian had instigated the fighting according to the divide and conquer Tolkien. and so again you know with the help of divine beings you know the whole thing can get straightened out and, you know i don't do things with my power <laughs> i don't have enough i guess i wouldn't want to misuse it mm -hmm. so um, but just asking questions and giving permission and asking for forgiveness on behalf you know of my client and other humanity you know seems to help a lot so there is another major reason number two you know for bad blood between us humans you know um, actually mostly our past incarnations this happened and, you know or our ancestors has happened and yeah um, the ancestors are kind of important to consider because um, we suffer the sin of our ancestors well in the bible says we suffer the sin of our fathers well that's ancestors and um you know, and generally when their curse is done, they just go down, you know, the genetic line. And because we suffer from them, we also have the right, you know, to intervene and apologize and have other arrangement done, you know, like asking for forgiveness. So that's the good part of it, <laughs> besides having to suffer for something you didn't do, at least not in this lifetime so we will take advantage of this and <clears throat> so this that uh, many of them you know either our own aspects or that of our ancestors they hunted or magically trapped dragons for their magical properties mm -hmm. and um I talk about more like this, you know, in the detail, in detail, you know, in the video release and captures nature beings, you know, which I highly recommend, you know, because um, you won't be, you won't believe it, you know, how much we intertwined with those beings, you know, from past life. And you can find the link in the description. So, <clears throat> but many mystical beings and nature spirits have been pressed in the past by ourselves and our ancestors into our service, you know, for wealth, power, longevity. Mm -hmm. And many of them had been severely tortured, you know, or killed, or, you know, um, abused, and they're very angry, and nothing good, you know, comes from whatever was gained wrongfully like this especially not from powerful beings like that mm -hmm. um something on the really far outside um, i came across several times with different clients there were gladiator fights between giants and dragons you know that's in a world before this one for sure you know probably more on a higher vibrational level and these fights were set up by the Draco, you know, and the dragons did not know that the giants had no choice. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, they cursed the giants and their descendants, you know, which in my cases, you know, with my clients had quite a punch. And so, um, once, you know, the dragons got inside, you know that the giants were forced like gladiators there was forgiveness clearing of curses and an ascension you know into higher consciousness you know into higher dimensions was possible 
very, very good stuff. And also, some of us worked with dragons, you know, in a good way. Um, I mean, there are also dark dragons, you know, for sure, um, compromised in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, um, I only, you know, asked that we, you know, that only good dragons, you know, the ones of love and light, that love humanity and want to assist humanity, not bind humanity or hurt humanity. You know, those are invited here for this meditation. Um, make sure you agree to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, also, you know, some of us were incarnated as dragons in parallel um, lifetimes, you know, or in past lifetimes. Mm -hmm. So dragons, um, also in physical form, um, you know, I actually also lived in this solar system on other planets. So, uh, and also there have been blocks or curses put in place to separate us, you know, from the advice and guidance and access to our divine dragon aspects. So, um, let's just see, you know, what applies to you and your ancestors in this following guided meditation. And um, if there is a clearing, you know, this guided meditation, you know, will most likely make a significant influence in your life. On the other hand, you know, having dragons as your friends, you know, and if you liberate them, um, you know, they kind of become maybe your friends. You know, that brings in many blessings as good luck and friends and happy moments into your life. So... <clears throat> But before we get into the guided meditation, you know, I asked you maybe to give me a thumbs up mm -hmm, or subscribe to my videos, you know, and later on do some comments, you know, share your experiences. But I want to point out some principles that I found, you know, will really make this guided meditation, you know, a success with you. And in the descriptions, you generally find Many people that got their socks blown off, <laughs> you know, you know, especially the sensitive ones, they have quite some experiences. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, you can have, you know, things to support you in your meditation, you know, so you hold like some nice crystals like quartz crystals, you know, fenakite or rose quartz, you know, or you even have you know, some faro rods that you hold in your hands. And uh, maybe, you know, have some, <clears throat> um, some obsidian, you know, in your, in your pants, somehow in your pockets mm -hmm, to ground you. Mm -hmm, whatever you have around. Also, amethyst is very good. You know, this will in generally, especially when these gems have been purified, you know, uplift you you know, 10, 20% higher. And advise you to um, use something which I call the divine symbol. I just have to take it from my foot. Um, so here we have the platonic solids in a two-dimensional form. It's super powerful, uh, um, very, very powerful. You know, beats the flower of life, you know, big time. Um, I have a video about this and there will be you know, a link also to print this out. Um, then, um, you know, I have this under my feet or I sit on one of them too. Mm -hmm. And you can also anoint your chakras, you know, with essential oils, you know, of the violet vibration like lavender, you know, or maybe even rose for the heart. Or you take a nice bath, you know, and have a nice smell through smudge and incense. You know, or um, you go before, you know, to high vibration massage therapist. You know, or you do, you know, a yoga set. Or maybe five or ten minutes breath of fire before the session. <laughs> you know? And um, all these things will help a lot. <clears throat> but in general, I prefer to sit in a comfortable, you know, office chair. Mm -hmm. And to balance my body so it really stacks up nicely. And, you know, you tuck in your chin a little bit, you know, in this way, the energy that shoots up the spine, you know, kind of 
goes right into the center of the brain. You know, you have it like that, you know, there, there is no proper flow into your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, it's very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you are slumping. Yeah. So um, just really, you know, make yourself comfortable in your body. And you can go deeper, you know, laying down many times, but then there is the danger of falling asleep. You know, and some people prefer this because they have problems falling asleep. You know, I don't mind. <laughs> Just go ahead, and it's definitely better to listen to this and fall asleep than not to listen to it at all. I think it has some effect on you, mm -hmm. but um, probably the best is when you are aware and breathe deeply mm -hmm. and make conscious decisions. Mm -hmm. And so, but if you lay down, um, you know, on your back, um, you know, you can um, put one hand you know, on your heart, maybe with a gem, and then the other one on your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this will give you nice nourishing energy, you know, especially the ones that have a high life force where the chi flows out of the head. And it feels really good. But um, personally, when I sit, actually, I do the Sufi grind, uh, which gives me, you know, a better connection to the heavens and earth. You know, this is the up and down axis. And also keeps me more in touch with my spine, the vertical axis. And then uh, please use earbuds or headphones, you know, to cancel out outside distractions. You know, generally you have a better sound. And really do not drive or operate heavy machinery. You know, I mean, really, you know, this is going to space you out like anything. And, of course, um, you have to smile. You know, you will not really have access to higher dimensions and love, you know, unless you vibrate, you know, on the love frequency, and that comes, you know, with a smile. You know, you can't say, I love you. You know, that doesn't work. You know, I love you always comes with a smile. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, initially, you know, breathe as the pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. Mm -hmm. I mean, you clear out your energy, you know, and your chakra system. You know, with most of your guys, you know, this is clogged up, you know, so it's like blowing out a filter. You know, so you need your breath, you know, to push through, you know, and cleanse and charge. You know, later on, you know, yeah, when everything is nice and pure, you know, then, you know, you can go to a much sweeter breath. You know, I might say this. And of course, you do not have to repeat my affirmations. You know, just think Amen. You know, when I say Amen. You know, but I mean, mean it. You know, or not your head. You know, or whatever, you know, feels good to you. And, uh, you know, be in a childlike state of consciousness during the guided meditation. You know, you gotta really just make sure you stay in your heart with your awareness. You know, and you smile like an idiot. You know? I mean, really, don't think you're like hot stuff you know, in front of God and angels. You know, we are like mice, you know, or not even dogs. You know, we are like mice. You have no idea about the intellect. Mm -hmm. So, just smiling, you know, that is good enough. <laughs> no need to impress them or have a tough face. Mm -hmm. But then pay also attention, you know, to what pops into your mind. You know, even if it doesn't make sense in the moment, you know, just pay attention. Do not judge it or rationalize it. Oh, what does it mean? Is it really true? You know, then, you know, you get into your head and, you know, you're not really getting you know, good information anymore. And, you know, remember, if you stay conscious and you only get five answers, maybe only two, that's better than nothing. It's a great breakthrough for many of you. And maybe in another, you know, after a week or two, you know, you get more. You know, so you get the hang of it. And some of you may get actually more benefit by using a pendulum you know, um, to get your answers. 
you know you can go quite accurate and um, i have you know three charts in the links and of course also a video on how to do a pendulum all right so close your eyes now and let's get started so dear archangel michael and gabriel please protect us from the attention manipulation attack and prevention of the dark hearts you know the service to self beings you know throughout all levels of our being you know also our parallel timelines family members and of course our twin flames amen and we ask that we you know be straight connected to source that any artificial overlays like organic overlays or even AI you know, or no imposters you know or other intermediate beings you know, are allowed you know that profess that they are source not allowed mm -hmm. Amen. And we also ask source and Archangel Michael or anybody else that is qualified like Lord Shiva for those in the Hindu tradition you know to remove as much as possible any dark, you know, Anunnaki or Alpha Dakunian or Grey, you know, or magicians or other predators, people's, you know, cords and devices and any other technology on every level of our being, you know, and any incarnation, time or dimensions now for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Definitely agree to this. And the effect starts kicking in in about five seconds after the Amen. And well, here, yeah, you should definitely have a shift of energy now kicking in. Enjoy. Now we also call on our highest self, our higher self, our inner child aspects our spirit guides and all incarnations you know and ancestors that can help and support also our star tribes you know where we come from as long as they come from unconditional love and we also ask for the higher dimensionals that are coming from unconditional love and that are supporting you know our human ascension you know they could be unicorns whales or dolphins and other beings you know, we also want to connect with Gaia the you know, third, fourth and fifth dimension and higher aspect as well with Milky Way galaxy again we ask that everything is safe and that there is no deception for us um, um, um. and now smile like an idiot you know and Breathe like a bellow and pull in, you know, through imagined roots, the love of Gaia. And just allow that love, you know, to flow up over your heart and all the way up to the head and then out on top. Just pull it up. And then just, you know, and the exhale, it just blows over you back. Down into the earth, smile. And so we ask that our bodies please be cleansed with these waves of loving chi that flow over and through it. And smile and breathe nice and deep. And observe you know, the shift of your energy. And now you imagine that you connect with the Milky Way galaxy, that hotspot in the center, through a head wire laser, you know, that comes out of your head. You just, you know, imagine that you, um, you know, this clears you. You know, it clears your higher chakras, your divine chakras, your celestial chakras above your head. You know, you have energy centers on octaves, 
all the way up to six feet, two meters above the head. And so this laser like purifies this now, we ask that any parasites and interferences from the dark side, you know, be dissolved. And you can imagine this liquid light just coming in through that laser, dissolving like blocks or blobs or clouds of darkness, and whatever comes handy here. Yes, pull it in, fluff it, and a really hard and fast ones. Now also allow this liquid love and light into your heart and ask it to dissolve any pain or darkness that you can detect there. Again, Smile like an idiot, you know, that's your dial for love. And then the strength of your breath, that is the dial for strength. And while you're pumping this love into your heart, you can even you know, imagine that the energies fluff out of there like this ethereal lotus, you know, that's moving slightly no defined edges like in a physical world. Go ahead, play with it. Now um, we asked you know, our own higher self connect with us and we go for the yes or no signal I mean you may hear yes or no or percentages etc in your mind but many people or see it in symbols in front of you or spelled out many ways people perceive this or just the you know knowingness but then Many times, you know, the simplest way is like, you know, a yes answer would be a flow of energy from the heart into the head, that would feel like that. And kind of uplifting feeling. Now ask your high self to give you a nice, strong, clear yes, amen. You may get this elevator feeling, you know, like, ooh, yeah. So, and if you couldn't feel anything, let's just ask again. Ask your high self and spirit guides to make it a lot stronger this time. Um, then, And now, let's for the no, it would be a flow of energy from the heart into your feet that feels like a down loop, just like that. And now, ask your high self to please show your nice, clear, strong no. Amen. And if you couldn't feel that, let's ask for a really heavy duty one. Mm -hmm. Really strong no. Um, all right. And, um, you know, if you don't feel anything, and maybe you also feel more comfortable with this, you could use a pendulum you know, to get your answers or kinesiology, you know, with your fingers. Mm. And just, just go ahead. First of all, smile, mm. stay in your heart, always stay in your heart. Have you been sacrificed in past lifetimes to dragons? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, did you or your ancestors trap or kill dragons for their magical properties, you know, or for other reasons? Yes or no? Did you or your ancestor press dragons into your service you know, for wealth, power, longevity, you know, and other, let's say, not so good purposes? Yes or no? Are you still affected, you know, from curses that you know, come from the warfare between humans and dragons? Yes or no? Were you involved in gladiator fights between giants and dragons? Yes or no? Did you work with dragons in a good way, in past life terms, yes or no? Have there been blocks or curses put into place to separate you or your ancestors from the good advice and guidance and access? You know, from your divine dragon aspects, yes or no? Have there been any divide and conquer spells put between you and your dragons, yes or no? Are there any outdated promises and vows affecting you with your relationship with the benevolent dragons? Or the dark ones even, yes or no? Are there any outdated contracts both ways? You know, that's also bad for the dragons, yes or no? Are there still any spells and curses from dragons unto you? Yes or no? Let's ask for the most important aspect that these dragon curses are affecting you. You know, this is going to be probably like a memory now. Um, Has there been karma dumping between you and your dragons? Yes or no? Have there been bindings? Yes or no? Have there been bitch spells? Yes or no? Are there any vows or curses of revenge? Yes or no? Are there still ghosts or discarnate from you or your ancestors stuck due to their interaction with so dragons? Yes or no? Is there still anger and hostility between you humans in other aspects and the dragons? Yes or no? And what is the lessons, you know, that you're supposed to learn in your interaction with your dragons? Is there any energy stealing going 
with the chords, yes or no? Were you a dragon in the past lifetime? Yes or no? What kind of dragon were you? Were you earth dragon? Or, you know, these are probably parallel timelines. You know, dragons, they don't move. They move different through time. Are these water dragons? Are these wind dragons? Are there fire dragons? Are there ether dragons? Anything else that has not been mentioned with a designation like that? And the most important one, what color? Now, when you were a dragon, did you burn villages? Yes or no? Were humans sacrificed to you? Yes or no? Is there still anger and hostility between you, the dragon aspect, and the humans? Yes or no? And how much of your sadness and depression and bad luck comes from that? Maybe you have a drug or alcohol addiction comes in. Does it come from that? In the suffering in your life, are you making up for injustice from that past? Yes or no? Are there still generational curses like bindings, contracts, curses, vows coming down the mail line to you? Yes or no? Are there still any generational curses on the female line like bindings, contracts, curses, vows coming down the female line? Yes or no? Of course, we like to have those all cleared. So let's set up the release. Mm -hmm. So we ask Divine Spirit, you know, it means Absolute Source, Archangel Michael, Lord Shiva, Lord Ganesh. You know, there are many aspects of Source, you know, that can help us this, as long as they're coming from the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome. So, Spirit, please release all hooks, devices, chains and other forms of bindings and limitations like rings, plates, spikes, spells, curses, contracts, promises, vows that were put onto me, the body, mind and spirit complex by my father or my mother's or were put by me, you know, meaning my body, mind and spirit complex. Also include all structures, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with these following curses, 
across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universe, all planetary system, all solar system, all dimensions, and then the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, please clear those now. Um, and of course, everything for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benign outcomes. Um, And then please do the same thing for the female line. Um, and you probably feel an upflow of energy above the head. Mm -hmm. Enough. <coughs> And while this is going on, mm -hmm. now let's ask, are there still any aspects of us or them trapped by the Vakshashas or Alpha Draconian? Yes or no? And of course, we ask that, you know, if this transgresses against universal law, that these beings, you know, be brought to the highest court of justice. And that our aspects and our ancestors please be busted out. Mm -hmm. Means liberated. Brought to the Arcturian Lord Healing and Ascension Temples. We are reunited with lost love ones and brought it after forgiveness and cleansing of the dark attachments. You know, all the baggage. Um, uh, um, And of course, we also like to have any karma or baggage, you know, cleared, you know, whether it's on our dragon side or on the human side or other sides, you know, like giants, mermaids, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Smile, you know, just keep breathing love that helps the most. Now, are there any dragons of love and light that our high self approve mm -hmm. and that would like to establish communication with us and maybe get a work relationship going, yes or no? Mm -hmm. So if you get a yes, or maybe even somebody shows up, smile, mm -hmm. and pull love from the heavens and the earth into your heart, you know, on the inhale as much as you can, and on the exhale, send it to the dragon with a big smile, just like an idiot, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, by the quality of your love, you know, that this like the importance here. You know, um, that can be the backstage pass, so to say. Mm -hmm. You know, when you send this love and keep sending this love, mm -hmm. and when they squirm, those dragons, well, they're not of light. Mm -hmm. We don't want to deal with them. We ask them to please go away. But if there's a nice echo of love coming back from them, you know, then just, you know, gladly accept this. And pull it into your heart and send your love back and we ask the absolute creator to make sure there is no misuse being done here. Um, and let's, if there's several dragons, you know, we ask their leader, you know, or if it's one, you know, of course the one, to please step forward now um, and keep on running this love heart to heart. And did you work with this one in past lifetimes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And um, 
both of your aspects are you liberated you know? and if not we ask for the highest help and spiritual justice to them Amen. Is there any technology, trauma, spells, curses or entities that inhibit or block the benevolent energies of our dragon brothers and sisters? Yes or no? And if you get a yes, of course we ask that these you know, interferences please be cleared now by the divine beings that are most expert at this. Um, and so what is the nature of your main dragon Liasso? Is this earth, water, wind, fire, ether or anything else dragon? What was the nature of your work and relationship in the past? In case you're not getting any answer, you know, was it like regarding power? Was it regarding visions, seeing the future, wisdom, alchemy, healing? advice and what are you going to be working on in this lifetime and are there any resistances you know between you and this being um, still there you know from others or past life history yes or no And let's give permission to have those cleared, of course, for the highest good. Amen. And let's call in on the beloved energies, you know, as approved by your high self. So make yourself open. You will see the love or updates, you know, whatever is for the highest good for you. On these beings now. Amen. And let's say to the leader or to the one, mm -hmm. how do we call this one? And for what purposes are we calling this one? And now let us give, you know, the divine dragons, you know, that are working with us, a mission to clear and defend us against any nefarious manipulations you know, of the Greys or Nagas or Dracos or Anunnakis or any other beings you know, that are um, using these things for you know, nefarious purposes. Mm -hmm. So please you know, clear us and defend us. Amen, Amen, Amen. Mm -hmm. You probably st now you start feeling an uplifting effect on you as the sabotage is being removed by them. And we give them permission to work with us, especially in dream time. Um, And if anything dark or inappropriate has attached to us or through us or in between you and the dragons, like they have this cleared now, um, then any soul fragments in, in 
and your energies return to you that can return to you now. Um, and then you like to be upgraded you know, and updated to the best and latest divine blueprints for us. Um, Then please surround us with this powerful protective aura of love and light that transmutes any darkness within us. Amen. And one, two, three, you're fully grounded now back in vacant day consciousness or you continue sleeping. You know, whatever is for your highest good. One, two, three. Well, welcome back. In this um, one shotgun meditation will probably not clear all curses on the you know, much of the time you will have to do this guided meditation just like you would maybe take pills or teas, but uh, maybe like once a week or every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And so most likely you know we all had a lot of incarnations, you know, with these beings. And so we go from one layer to the other. And of course also clearing depends on your insight, lessons learned, level of forgiveness, and of course the gravity of the trauma. And uh, so many issues have to be looked in greater detail before they can be released. And of course, you know, my prices are still very modest for what you're getting, and you know, I can assist you with this. I mean, if this kind of work for you, imagine working with me personally. You know, I can monitor your energies, etc. So, um, <clears throat> um, that is you know, um, about lessons and insight. You know, um, many times, you know, for trauma to, to be transmuted. And the insight, that's kind of the homework you gotta do. And of course, good parents help with homework, but they don't do it the most. And of course, this is, and again, where the private session with me is helpful. So, um, of course, you know, many of you are already going with breakneck speed, but some want to go faster. But anyhow, you're going to be um, most likely purifying like anything, so I advise to drink like a liter or a quarter of water after the session. And especially if you have a headache, that means you have to drink more water to detoxify. Also, you know, this information is very dense. And, you know, it's just good um, you know, to go back over this and listen again several times. Especially if you still have a strong reaction. And, of course, this is the highest, most accessible guidance, you know. Um, for you to come into your life, whether it's through books, YouTube, interview, websites, people, nature, dreams, you know, whatever else. So, um, maybe you want to treat yourself to a private session or cut right to the chase. Mm -hmm. So, you know, check out my website and other things in the comments below. And you know, keep on smiling and I love you for a long time. <laughs>